How's it going guys? Eric here with OneHive 2.0 bringing you another war recap to OneHive Labs. We just ended up facing Dominican Union which ended up being a pretty easy war for us. Um, 23 stars, they only ended up getting one. We'll go ahead and check out what we did to their bases. We ended up pretty much just taking down all the bottom just from 6 and below. This was a pretty easy war for the most part. We had uh, quite a few of the bases, three start a second time, I believe. So uh, it was a good job doing that. Um, so let's go ahead and check out an attack by Malfunction. Um, Malfunction ended up doing a cold blooded Lalo, which isn't something you see a lot anymore. So it was pretty cool to get it in here and get it into the war recap. And we just got a pretty standard uh, cold blooded attack here. The wall breakers, the jump and the king and queen just right up the funnel great funnel made it's a pretty easy funnel too so that was really nice for this base and the AD and queen were really just really everything worked out well for them in this base and a great lighting there ended up dropping back a little bit and ended up getting almost the full CC right away just a couple minions left I believe just was the the result of it and they ended up having quad tussles on here so that was a pretty quick kill for uh, his king going down there but his archer queen ends up taking plenty of plenty of the defenses over there, and he ends up still going in at a really good time. He waits for the AD to go down and goes ahead right in right away. He ends up getting an air bomb and the skeleton trap with his first hound, and that's always uh that's always what you want to try to get is the bombs. You know you want to try to soak up some bombs with the hounds. That's always a huge plus. And he sends in his second hound as soon as he realizes his first hound is going down, and then he ends up putting his third one as well. Just he knows that. That one's about to pop too, so it was really just great placement of his hounds the entire time. He had him going in a beautiful circle. And I believe he ends up like having his hounds not pop here. Like he could have put them in a even a little sooner, just let them beat get beat a little bit more. But he ends up going in the counterclockwise motion on this base because at the top here, there's the three cannons that are left that are going to be left last if in that last compartment. So he had a lot of the ground defenses in one area. That's really why you kind of want to spread them out in your base, so you're not going to have uh, someone be favoring your base going a certain way with their Laloon. So it was just a really pretty easy attack for him. He ended up not having two Hound Pops. Both of them were incredibly close to popping, so maybe he could have brought a Max Golem instead of that Hound even. But pretty easy base for him, so great attack by Malfunction as always. Good 3-star. What we're going to be looking at next is an attack by, I believe, let's see here, let me make sure, okay, yeah, Whistle, another great attack by Whistle here, and I want you guys to try and watch one of the first giants he drops, it ends up making it almost the entire, the, the, it almost makes it the entire fight until it ends up hitting a spring trap after all the defenses go down, so it's going to be funny to kind of watch that, because the, the giant was the real MVP, but he gets his funnel created really easily here, he has a great, or he gets a really good funnel, he just does a great job of placing it, everything exactly where it should be there. Great wall breakers, dodging the mortar, makes it just perfect timing for that. Just same, beautiful jump spell. He ends up bringing a little bit unconventional of a kill squad, and bringing no, um, sorry, no lightning spell. He ends up bringing a witch and a valkyrie to help assist with the CC once he's inside the base. So that was a pretty cool, just, or pretty cool way to deal with the CC inside the base, instead of using a um, lightning spell. So he ends up having three spell or three heal spells throughout the rest of the base, which is just usually huge. And yeah, he ends up sending his hogs in as soon as he knows. But that one giant right there that he sends in first, you just go ahead and watch that giant through the whole thing. It's pretty crazy how far it makes it. But he ends up having his hogs go through perfectly. He knows where the tussles are after he gets those first two initial ones up on the left side. Perfect heal spells. He gets his hogs just rolling in that counterclockwise motion again. There's that giant still going, getting healed again, the second time getting healed. And he ends up going through the rest of the base. He has his last heal there, which was great. He ends up getting almost all of his hogs with that heal. And he doesn't have much of the base left after that, with his queen still alive, and a lot of his a lot of hogs left for cleanup. So it's honestly a pretty easy base for him here. Great attack, I mean, didn't really cause much of a threat. I think he ended up finishing it with a really good amount of time. I don't remember the exact numbers, but yeah, that giant also, by the way, is still going. 
you're gonna eventually see it. I think it's in a couple of seconds here. It ends up going off to that spring trap, but it's it was unbelievable to me how far that little guy made it. But yeah, other than this, it's just pretty much a cleanup. Great attack by Whistle. Oh, well, there goes the giant. But yeah, great attack by great attack by Whistle. Producing a bunch of really great three stars lately. So keep it up, Whistle. And what we're gonna be looking at next is let's see here. An attack by Mo. Oh, yep. I. I. <coughs> excuse me, Ivan. And what we're looking at is a hog healer, or sorry, hog giant healer. There we go. And this attack is pretty unconventional too. I mean, we saw it a lot. Or the only reason we really see it now is because of that. The whole healers can't hit air bombs at update anymore. All right air mines or seeking air mines and air bombs whatever which one it is but he does a great job here you know he finds a really good base for it he finds the air defense right on the the outside that was really easy for him to get and the other oh i'm sorry all three all four of the air bases were sorry air defenses were in the middle so he had a really easy time avoiding all of those with his healers he they end up staying out a distance for almost the whole you know the whole time the the air defenses go down and he just has plenty of hogs you know to go around the rest of the base because he has his giants just doing great in the middle with his healers healing the most of the time. They ended up sticking on the queen towards the end, which didn't end up being bad at all. But he's sitting here at 50% of the base down, and both of his heroes left with their abilities. He just popped his archer queen ability, and that's just huge. If you can get through that much of a base and not use your hero abilities yet, I mean, he's sitting here at 60%, still hasn't used his kings. He's got his cleanup troops going on the backside, and he just, he just completely rolls through this base. He's got his giants left and his queen left, and his king still with his ability. There you go, finally pops up. And he's only got two defenses left with his level 30 queen, which is just going to be too much. And yeah, it was just a, a perfect base for him to pick out with all the air defenses over in the in the middle and upper part of the base like that. So it was a honestly just a great vision by him to pick that base. So beautiful attack as always, Ivan. Make sure you guys can give us a, a sub to the channel as well as a thumbs up on the video. Both of those end up helping a lot.